So I was really excited this morning. I got a ride to my studio. I got here, walked my dog, unpacked, and realized I didn't have my reference material with me. I didn't have the one photograph I needed to work on my painting today. And after uh, a couple of good meltdowns on my own and calling a friend and, and having a meltdown, uh, I realized that I really needed to listen to my own advice. Um, about painting, you know, follow the rules, which is there are no rules, it's all fixable, and it doesn't matter. Those are the three rules. And also, to just like calm down. Right now, I'm in the, I'm right around the stick figure stage. I'm maybe just past stick figure. So we do, I know I'm, to, I'm past stick figure because the last pictures I put up on Facebook were awful. So I was just past stick figure stage, which means it's not the end of the world if I don't have my reference material with me. This doesn't have to be perfect right now. There is plenty of time to fix this. You know, here I am in a total panic because I don't have the exact reference material. But once I had calmed down, I realized. I've got a long way to go before I have to worry about each little crease. And in the meantime, I can use other reference material. For, this, for the painting I'm working on, which is for uh, Boston Marathon survivors, uh, survivors of the Boston Marathon explosion uh, fundraiser, um, I'm doing a, another, a second version of a painting I happen to have loved, which is I Am. And it's a woman who it's, it's a painting done of a woman standing on her porch in her Japanese kimono bathrobe in the 40s, and she's got her chin out, and you know her hand is on her her hand is holding a robe together, but she's somewhat defiant. She's relaxed, but you can see there's a quiet anger and defiance in her face. So I'm redoing this on a piece of masonite for this fundraiser. Now at this stage of the game, I don't need to be copying. The, the reference material exactly. And actually it was a really good thing that I didn't have it with me. Because although I really loved this painting, I am, which I no longer have, I destroyed it. Um, I took, uh, I redid this for some people who expressed an interest in happy art. And I redid her face and it totally diminished her character and it took away from the painting. It no longer had the strength and the power that it had. She no longer had the pride. She was just a happy woman in a bathroom. But I was never really happy with her face anyway. She looked too cartoony in that in the original um, that I have destroyed and it's in the dumpster. But she was too cartoony. I, there was just something not right about her. So in not having the reference material it actually forced me to re rethink her face and to feel it more properly than I did before. When I did this, I was in a smaller space. I was in my attic apartment painting. I didn't have the room that I have now. So the feeling is, was confined, and I could never step back and really see it because there wasn't enough room. Well, I do have room now, and I have distance from the old painting. And not having the reference material actually opens me up to see and feel the character that I want to portray more clearly, and which is exactly what I've been able to do. I've been able to take away her cartoonish face. I don't know how much the camera can see, but I've been able to take away her cartoonish face, give her more color close her eyes just a little bit so she's peacefully angry but inside of herself portraying strength and hopefully portraying some defiance but I, what I did was I took her face and just tilted it to the side a little bit in my old reference material she's looking straight into the camera in this her face is just slightly to the side so not having the reference material opened me up to turning her face just a little bit, pulling her chin up, and it really is something, um, it, I'm sure it's very hard to see right now because of the light in here, 
and the angle of the camera, but it really is something I'm much prouder of than I was even with I Am, with the original. Um, the character in this painting is a black woman, and I think, I think in the original I Am, because the eyes were so large, the strength and determination of this black woman in the 40s may not have come across as strongly as I wanted it to. Uh, everyone I showed this to loved it. I had women who just stood and said, that's how I feel. But for me, the eyes were too large. You know, and I don't want uh, big googly eyes. Uh, so now I've been able to make them a more appropriate size. I've also been able to add a little bit more color, which makes it fun. Her, her, her skin is darker, which I appreciate. You know, looking back at I Am, she was a little too uh, Caucasian colored. You know, I thought with carrying the light over her face, you know, I thought I had done that correctly. But looking back, she was maybe too Caucasian. Although, she could have been Brazilian, you know, she could have been many different many different types of people, which is kind of nice. But I'm stuck on the idea of this black woman in the 40s in her oriental robe. I, the picture is extraordinary to me. The reference material, which I don't have. But anyway, what I did was um, I had the poster to go by, and then because I collect black and white photographs, which is what I work from, I was able to pull other reference material. Uh, this is a photograph I pulled off the web of a family that I've done illustrations and paintings of. I love the father in this in this one photograph. I've done a painting of him called When I Close My Eyes. I can see him. I've done another silkscreen illustration of him. When I Close My Eyes, I can see him. Same title. And then I've done one of most of the rest of the family, a silk screen illustration. Those were all at my solo shows last year. And they're actually some of my favorite, some of the fav my favorite paintings and illustrations ever. But then I also took, um, pulled out as, as reference today, this, an etching, or, yeah, an etching that uh, an art student had done, I think at RISD, I'm not sure, it's an old, I've been carrying this Art Matters magazine around for a while, so I'm not even sure where it came from. But I used this, this illustration of Martin Luther King, this black and white photograph with different families in it, and another photograph of a friend I have. Um, I downloaded his photograph, and I used that as well. The thing is just, I don't need the exact picture. I really don't. I know how a woman feels. I know how it feels to feel proud and defiant. I may not, I, well, I don't necessarily know how it feels to be black, but I know what I want to convey in this character. I know what I want coming out of her to the viewer, and what I'm hoping that the viewer connects with. So I'm able to build on that. Almost like an actor portraying a character for the audience. Meryl Streep doesn't need to be Julia Child. Meryl Streep doesn't need to be Sophie to project that. Daniel Day-Lewis doesn't need to only have use of his left foot to understand or to be able to portray the character in my left foot. It's just working from a point of understanding, of feeling, and trying to be that character in your heart while you're working. 
So really, all I had to do was stop freaking out about this photograph and just be it. Be it. Be, be the person that you're painting. So that's what I'm going to do, is go back to being. I don't have that much time until my ride comes to pick me up. Um, and then I won't be able to get back in the studio for a while, so I better be <laughs> and get back to work. And just keep in mind, this is all fixable. Even to the end, it's all fixable. Ciao.